this is the Nosh tactical laser light. It came in this little package. It had three little button batteries, laser, and these three Allen wrenches. These Allen wrenches are three different sizes. I wasn't sure what I needed all three of them for, but once you get into it, you'll realize it. So to begin with, I'm putting it on this old BSA rifle I had to try to match it up with this scope and try to bring it into the 21st century here. So I used this other laser bracket that I had because I don't have 20 millimeter rails on this. So to begin with, it's got a, a bolt that's that goes across the bottom of this. You can see here. So this bolt under here, once you slide this on, you just use the Allen wrench and screw this on and tightens it on there. Real simple to put on there. The front of this, you got the laser light here, you got the battery compartment here. Like I said, it does come with three button batteries, and all three of them are needed in there. I kind of wish they would have put the batteries together and, and wrapped them together as one battery or used a different battery all together. They're a little hard to get in there and flip the right way. So once you get them in there, I just kind of left them on there. There's a hole on there for an Allen wrench. So another one of these Allen wrenches actually use that to undo it. You can also undo the laser light if you want to. Not sure why you'd want to do that. This does come with another 20 inch rail on here so if you need to stack something on that you could. So once you get this on here to adjust the laser there's two well, there's two let me see if I can adjust this once you get this on here there are two holes on here there's one on this side which adjusts the laser you turn it clockwise will move it to the left counterclockwise move it to the right and then there's another one on the back of this Wait a minute. sorry it's on top there's another one on the top here which you can see right here and again that just use another Allen wrench I had to get used to this little one yes and again that'll move up and down so that'll move the laser light up and down so you can get that on zero or I lined it up actually with my where my scope is because I like it with this being off to the side it's a little hard to get it lined up correctly so this is, you know, it's a thirty-dollar laser light. It's good and fun to play with. Like what about the range target practicing with this? But I don't know if I would put it on a pistol and rely on it for my life. I think I'd spend a lot more money on something like that. But this is fun to play with. So once you get this installed, it's real easy. You just push this button on the back, and it turns the light on. As you can see, I got the laser there. So it works. It's pretty good. You know, I move back. It goes pretty good distance. So it's it's not bad for thirty dollars. It works. So I think it's a nice one. It's, it's small, lightweight. The one that went in this bracket originally has a coil on it. A push button that you gotta hold. It's a little hard to shoot when you're trying to hold a button. So this one's just either on or off totally. This is nice if you're gonna top mount this, but with this button in the back, I couldn't see putting it like underneath a pistol under the barrel because there's no room to push this to turn this on and off. Most of the other ones I see that would go here have a switch on the side. So you push it from this side or the other side. So this might not work from there, so you need to watch that or look for that when you decide if you're, which gun you're going to put this on. 
But other than that, this is a really nice little thing for 30 bucks. Comes with all the tools you need. There are no instructions, so what I just told you is probably the best you're going to get.